Hi there, you've got a budget of 30,000, you want to buy a smartphone and you're confused between the Mi 11X and the iQOO 7. Now these two phones are so similar in so many ways that it's bound to happen. But don't worry, watch this video and I'll show you both these devices side by side along with their pros and cons so you can decide which one you should buy. Alright, let's take it from the top. So the first thing to know is that the Mi 11X is a more affordable device between the two. It's priced at $29,999 for the base variant which is 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. While the iQ7 starts at $31,990 for 8GB RAM and 128GB of storage. The price is kind of justified for the higher amount of memory that iQ is giving you. Also both these devices can now be bought at cheaper prices with couple of deals that are running on them. Diving in deeper. AMOLED displays on both with full HD plus resolution and 120Hz refresh rate. And trust me when I say it, both do a fine job in color reproduction. Vivid, crisp, sharp and smooth. Both also claim peak brightness of 1300 nits and thanks to that it gets really bright enough even to use outdoors. The Mi 11X has a slightly bigger display at 6.67 inch while the iQOO 7 is 6.62 inch. Frankly, it's almost negligible and you can barely notice the difference even when you keep it side by side. Though what's not negligible is how thin the Mi 11X is. It's just 7.8 mm thin while the iQOO 7 is about 8.4. Okay, it's not that the iQOO 7 is very thick but yes, you realize the difference when you hold the two phones in your hand. The good thing is both weigh exactly the same, 196 grams. The Mi 11X also comes in Gorilla Glass 5 protection which is great to protect your screen from accidental damage. The iQOO 7 must have some sort of protection but nothing seems to be mentioned anywhere. So you have to be a little more careful. Both devices have the exact same Snapdragon 870 SoC and yes, they support 5G which is a good thing that you'll be future proofing your device. But the Mi 11X supports two 5G bands while the iQ7 supports only one. Frankly, currently we have no clue which one would work for which search provider, but looking at the odds, the Mi 11X seems to have better chances here. Now some of you might ask, what about benchmark scores? Well, personally, I'm not a fan of it. They are important, but it isn't the only thing that helps you decide which phone you wanna buy. It's the experience, the handling, the ergonomics, the OS, and so much more. The iQ7 has an in-display fingerprint scanner, while the Mi 11X has it on the power button. Now this is again a matter of personal preference. Some obviously like the ones that are in the display, while some prefer the one that is on the side. Though the in-display ones have become faster and more reliable, personally I prefer the capacitive ones. It's definitely faster and far more reliable. Coming to the interface, Front Touch UI on the iQOO 7 and MIUI UI on the 11X. Now both are running Android 11 and are packed with features. In fact, so many that it's impossible to fathom how they even actually got all these there. Sometimes I feel how would all these devices be with vanilla Google OS. It would be a different experience altogether. Anyway, both are really smooth and also with that 120Hz refresh rate, it's a breeze. To some extent, I prefer the MIUI UI. It feels a lot more polished and now with MIUI UI 12.5, it's almost perfect. But again, a FunTouch UI user might prefer that to a MIUI UI, so it's a very subjective choice. Now both have the same powerful Adreno 650 GPUs, played Call of Duty and the experience on both was stellar, especially on the iQOO 7. Not that the 11X was bad, in fact it performed very similar, but it got warm and frames started to drop in long run. If gaming is your priority, then both these devices are a solid option without a doubt. But I'll give iQOO 7 the edge here. Then the iQOO 7 comes with a smaller battery, not like very small but 4400mAh but with a 66 watt charger in the box, it gets to 0 to 100 in just 22 minutes. It's amazing. On the flip side, the Mi 11X has a little bigger battery, 4500mAh battery with a 33 watt charger. It's definitely slower but also who wouldn't mind a bigger battery and also 33 watt is fast enough, it will get you a full charge from 0 to 100 in under 50 minutes. Talking about the cameras, well both triple rear cameras. 48 megapixel main on both. Now both have some different color science and have their pros and cons. Actually more than that, it's about preference. Like this is an outdoor shot and they look pretty good. But I feel that the iQ7 did perform a little better when it came to outdoor images. Here are some ultra wide. Here we can see the dynamic range is better on the Mi 11X with bluer skies. Here are some portrait shots taken from both and they look pretty good. However, the edge detection looked a little better on the Mi 11X. 
Macro on the Mi 11X is far better. Firstly, because you don't have to get very close to the subject to get a zoom shot. And secondly, it's a 5 megapixel in comparison to the jagged 2 megapixel on the iQOO 7. Front cameras on both these phones are in the center with a punch hole design, pretty neat and almost blends in with the display as you're using the dark wallpaper. The iQOO 7 has a 16 megapixel while the Mi 11X has a 20 megapixel. The Mi 11X has a wider shot so it's better for group selfies. The iQOO 7 also felt a little washed out here. When it comes to portrait shots, the iQOO 7 has better skin tones and more subtle blur effect. Of course, you can adjust the blur on the Mi 11 X too. Images on both look pretty good though for selfie cameras. Stereo speakers on both these phones, but to a casual listener, the Mi 11 X is clearer and louder between the two. But where the iQOO 7 takes the lead is support for aptX and aptX adapter. So if you have aptX support headphones, you can take full advantage of it. Alright, the big question, which one? Well, eventually it comes down to personal preference. Personally, I would bet my money on the Mi 11X. It's an all-rounder. I love the celestial silver back. It really is gorgeous. Then I would any day pick a phone with a bigger battery, even though the charging is slower. But then slow as in it's not really slow. It's in slow in comparison. Then the Mi UI is more familiar. Gorilla Glass protection, UFS 3.1, so faster storage. And it's also more easier on the pocket when it comes to price. 29999 but you can get this for as low as 26,999 with some deals that you can check on me.com. iQOO 7 is also an excellent device and Asus with a slightly better main camera. More subtle design, higher RAM configuration. I'll leave the links for both these devices in the description. Make your pick. I hope this video was helpful, gives you more clarity on which one should be the right one for you. If you have any questions, feedback or complaints, mention it down in the comments. All are welcome. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.